तपद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप साग्रजात सगण रघुनाथानित साइत सवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सगण ललिता श्री विशाखानिता नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सारस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य वंशकलपतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधु पति जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे माधव कृष्ण गोपा अंतर मंदिर जागो जागो माधव कृष्ण गोपा अंतर मंदिर मंतर मंदिर जागो जागो माधव कृष्ण गोपाल अंतर मंदिर जागो जागो नवरुण सम जागो हृदय मम नव नवरुण सम जागो हृदय मम नव सुंदर गिरीधारीला माधव कृष्ण गोपाल सुंदर गिरीधारीला अंतर मंदिर जागो जागो माधव कृष्ण गोपा अंतर नयन घनाए बेतारी बादल जागो जागो तुम्ही किशोर श्याम नयन घनाए बेतारी बादल जागो जागो तुम्ही किशोर श्याम नयन श्री राधा प्रियतम जागो हृदय मम श्री राधा प्रियतम जागो हृदय मम जागो हृदय मम जागो हृदय मम 
श्री राधा प्रियतम जागौरी दाए ममा जागो हे गोष्ठेर रखा माधव कृष्ण गोपाल जागो हे गोष्ठेर रखा अंतर मंदिरे जागो जागो माधव कृष्ण गोपाल अंतर मंदिरे यशो दादुलाल ऐसो ऐसो न नीचो यशो दादुलाल ऐसो ऐसो न नीचो प्राणेरो देवता ऐसो है किसो यशो दादुलाल ऐसो ऐसो न नीचो प्राणेरो देवता ऐसो है किसो लोए राधा बामे रिदि ब्रज धामे लोए राधा बामे रिदि ब्रज धामे हारि दि ब्रज धामे रिदि ब्रज धामे लोए राधा बामे रिदि ब्रज धामे ऐसो हे ब्रज रखाल माधव कृष्ण गोपाल ऐसो हे ब्रज रखा अंतर मंदिरे जागो जागो माधव कृष्ण गोपाल अंतर मंदिरे प्लीचन माधव कृष्ण गोपाल माधव कृष्ण गोपाल माधव कृष्ण गोपाल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम 
तो भया योगी नाम नृप निर्णीता हरे नाम कीर्तना हरे कृष्णा सो दिस वॉज द ट्रेलर द रियल पिक्चर विल रिलीज टुमारो इवनिंग प्लीज जॉइन विथ अस इन कीर्तन मेला यस So all the expert murdang players, please be available. <laughs> the one murdang is not enough for Kirtan Mela. And the harmonium player, Prabhu. <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Will you give me that? Hare Krishna, dear devotees. So we'll continue our series, uh, which is known as, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, Sadhana to Sadhya. We discussed in the morning about uh, just introduction uh, from Bhakti Rasama Sindhu that uh, the Parivasa Sutra of uh, Bhakti Rasamo Sindhu, Anyam Vilasata Sunyam, like that. And uh, the four divisions are Samanya Bhakti, Sadhana Bhakti, then uh, Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. So today you will see what is sadhana bhakti. So if you have uh, some gadgets, you can open the definition of sadhana bhakti or, yeah. Is there in, Chaitanya uh, Charitamut Madhalila chapter 22 text 105, if you have, you can. It is connected here, eh? Okay. When I'll, when I'll write, that time it will be shown. So, Madhalila, chapter 20, 22, text 105. So, what is Sadhana Bhakti? This is the 
so very famous words you uh, have heard many times okay we will start kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhavasa sadhana vidha nitya siddhasya bhavasya प्राकट्यम हृदय साध्यता कृति साध्या भवेत साध्य भावा सा साधना विधा नित्य सिद्धस्य भावस्य प्राकट्यम हृदय साध्यता so the meaning is first word is kriti sadhya kriti means senses which is which is to be executed by the senses kriti sadhya very easy to understand we have our senses eyes nose ears tongue panch gyanendriya and karmendriya okay so these are kriti by the senses which is to be executed by the senses okay and then bhavet by executing any activity we generally execute by the senses only executing by the senses our goal should be see kriti sadhya bhavet means it should be sadhya bhava okay so i can write down it's easy to understand okay <coughs> second no kriti sadhya means we all execute our senses through our ear through our eyes through our nose isn't it we all engage our senses uh, even uh, while practicing any kind of uh, devotional service we engage our senses through our eyes ear nose hands legs all our senses should be engaged in the service of the lord the goal we should not forget the goal should be to attain bhava then only it will be called sadhana bhakti now engaging our senses we are also engaging our senses to attain some position 
engaging our senses to attain some, to get some remuneration, engaging our senses to uh, some adoration, some, uh, some varieties of profit, engaging our senses to solve, engaging our senses to become president, <laughs> engaging our senses to become a GBC member, engaging our senses to become a millionaire, engaging our senses, dash, 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 dash. And we, we, we are engaging our senses, isn't it? We are engaging our senses. But the goal is something different than bhava bhakti. Uh, then that is not sadhana bhakti. So precise definition, no? isn't it? <coughs> the first line, <coughs> therefore it is clearly said, first two lines of the verse, kriti sadhya, bhavet sadhya, bhava, bhavet sadhya bhava, sa sadhana vidha. And that is called sadhana bhakti. So many examples I said, engaging our sense to attain this, that, this, that, this, that, so many. So if you are engaging our senses to attain something other than bhava bhakti, then that is not sadhana bhakti. My dear devotees, we are not doing sadhana bhakti then. From the definition it is clear. We are engaging our senses. Our goal, our target should be to attain bhava bhakti then that is called sadhana bhakti. If it is not bhava to attain, if, it's, if it is not to attain bhava, then that bhakti, I don't know what bhakti we will call. But according to the definition, sadhana bhakti means this one. And then he says, nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakartyam hridi sadhyata. So this, such devotion, Nitya Siddha, it is eternally exist within us, within the heart of every living being. And Prakatyam uh, Hridi Sadhyata, the <coughs> awakening of this eternal devotion is potentially devotion. Means Prakatyam. Prakatyam means you know what? In Sanskrit it said Prakatyam means awakening. Achieved, attained from outside, not. Try to understand. This bhava bhakti is awakened, is not attained or achieved from somewhere, from the supermarket of South Bangalore. Not attained or achieved from somewhere outside. It is within. Everyone, one has to awaken. And the process is sadhana bhakti. The bhava is within everyone, it has to be awakened. It, had, it is not to attained or achieved, it has to be awakened. So therefore, prakatyam. And uh, please raise your hand. How many of you have read NOD? Bhakti Rasama Sindhu, huh? must have read. So if you, you remember your Bhakti Shastri days. In NOD, Prabhupada gives a suitable example to explain this verse. It is not achieved or attained from outside. It is within everyone. It has to be awakened. Just like, please try to recollect. Any example Prabhupada has given? In, and it's there in NOD book. I'll give you a clue. This is Damodar. What is the younger, younger one? He's there? He's not here. Okay. No problem. Damodar, please stand up. Is uh, bolo, bolo. Is no, no, no. He will tell. <laughs> Yes, hold it. How old are you? How young are you? I'm eight. I'm eight years. Eight years. 
So when you are one year old, remember when you one year, when you are one year, uh, you are able to walk. Yeah. <laughs> When did you start walking? You ask your parents. <laughs> ask, ask them. After 18 months. After 18 months. Okay. You, you cannot walk within 8 months. 8 months or 1 year child, it's difficult to walk. You can stand, but some, it's difficult to walk. And how did you learn walking? Do, do you remember? How did you learn walking? You don't remember, no? Your parents will tell you. <laughs> we're falling out, we're repeatedly falling down and mother and father, they will catch your hand. Okay, get up, get up, da mother, get up, get up, get up, like that, they do. And there is a, some cycle kind of thing, sometimes the child, they hold it and they start walking, learning. So, it is the Okay, thank you, Damodar The Now you can uh, recollect the example <laughs> from this, isn't it? The capacity of walking was there in the child. Is, you know? Huh. Yes. Yeah. It, 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 potentially he can walk. <laughs> Is there the 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 capacity, the strength? Is there? Nothing has to attain from outside. Only through some practice with the help of the parents and some vehicles, some cycle kind of thing, the children they start walking. So it's there within. Yes, it's this this example Prabhupada has given. Rivo. So, the devotees, so in the same way, do you understand this example? In the same way, Bhava Bhakti is there within every living entity. Why? Because we are the part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. We may be Tatastha Shakti, but we are the part and parcel of the Lord. It's there. So, it has to be awakened through such seminar, <laughs> through Bhakti Shastri study. Through, through devotional service, it has to be awakened. So, therefore, in this verse, and uh, next verse, he said, Kriti Sadhya Bhavet Sadhya, after that, he says, <coughs> Sravana Dikriyatara Sorupa Lakshana Tatastha Lakshane Upajaya Premadhana so, in the, the spiritual activities of hearing, chanting and remembering and so forth are the natural characteristics of devotional service. To awaken Bhava Bhakti, the hearing, chanting, remembering and so forth, they are the natural characteristics, they, they are the Sarupa Lakshana. And uh, the marginal characteristics to awaken the pure love of Krishna. So, the Navada Bhakti, Sravana, the Kriya, they are the prime activities. Then the famous verse, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhya Kabunaya Sravana, the Suddha Chite Karaye Udaya. So, this is the Bengali payar of the verse which we recited as Sanskrit. Kriti Sadhya, Bhavet Sadhya, that is Sanskrit, and this is the Bengali one. Pure love of Krishna is eternally established in the hearts of living entity. <coughs> it is not something to be gained from another source when the heart is purified by hearing and chanting. This love awakens. Now, so he says, Eita sadhana bhakti duita prakar ekavaidi bhakti raganuga bhakti ar. <coughs> so this, uh, there are two process of practical devotional service. One is <coughs> regulative devotional service and the other is spontaneous devotional service. One is called Vaidhi Bhakti, another is called Raganuga Bhakti. Raga Vina Jana Bhaje, Raga Hina Jana Bhaje, Sastre Ragyaya, 
वैदि भक्ति बलि तारे सर्वशास्त्रे गाय राग हिन सो व्हाट इज वैदि भक्ति ही सेज राग हिन जन भजे शास्त्रे राग है धुएं देर इज नो राग व्हाट इज द राग अटैचमेंट है ना अटैचमेंट इंटेंस अटैचमेंट When, where there is no rag, where there is no attachment, but we practice bhakti by what? Shastra agya means by the order of the shastra and the spiritual master. So that is called bhakti bhakti. Tare sarva shastra gaya. So in this way. श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एक्चुअली ही एक्सप्लेन्स टू रूप गोस्वामी एंड रूप गोस्वामी ही एक्सप्लेन्ड इन द भक्ति रसाम सिंधु सो एंड यू नो वैदि साधना भक्ति इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर इन प्रैक्टिसिंग वैदि साधना भक्ति इज डैश इज शास्त्र आज्ञा बाई द ऑर्डर ऑफ द शास्त्र एंड द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर दैट इज द की पॉइंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग वैदि साधना भक्ति and and in nod you must have read so many types of vaidhi sadhana bhakti rupa goswami explains like one or two you say ado guru padashraya krishna diksha di shikshanam bisram vena guru seva like that it starts so accepting the spiritual master uh, rendering service to him taking initiation from him and uh, taking uh, siksha also siksha and diksha from him in this way how many types rupa goswami explain 60 64 and by, while explaining in this way 64 types of bhakti at end at the end he explains the five most important factor important limbs of bhakti uh, and that is you know sadhu sang naam kirtan boli sadhu sang naam kirtan bhagavat shravan bhagavat shravan mathura vas shri murti ra shraddhaya sevan so one should associate to the devotee sadhu sang is a for association b for book reading we say sadhu sang chanting the holy name hearing simad bhagavatam residing mathura dham and eight years then he says sakala sadhana shrestha ei pancha anga krishna prem janmay ei pancher alpa sanga these five limbs of devotional service are the best of all in vrindavan we will i live there so i hear from other devotees like there is a very famous sadhu in radha raman mandir shivachha goswami and pundari goswami so they any time they give some katha they uh, explain they emphasize panchanga bhakti karo panchanga bhakti hi sarvashreshth like that they say so this is called panchanga bhakti we have to we uh, more focus on this five limbs of bhakti therefore sakala sadhana shrestha hi pancha anga this five limbs of bhakti are the best of all krishna prema janmay ei pancher alpa sang even a slight performance even a slight performance uh, love of krishna can be awakened of these five i have can love for krishna श्रद्धा विशेषत प्रीति श्रीमूर्त रंग सेवन एंड देन चैतन्य महाप्रभु दिस इज एक्चुअली महाप्रभु ओनली एक्सप्लेन्स टू रूप गोस्वामी सॉरी टू सनातन गोस्वामी दिस इज सनातन शिक्षा विथ लव एंड फुल फेथ वन शुड वर्शिप द लोटस फीट ऑफ द डेटी वन बाय वन ही एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट द पंचांग वन थर्टी टू 
in the text 132 nama sankirt nama sankirtana nama sankirtanam sriman mathura mandale sthiti so all these five important limbs of bhakti it says that so wonderful verse it says that just by associating with these five important uh, limbs of bhakti even a little one can uh, awaken krishna prema love of god but doesn't happen <laughs> even what to speak a little bit we are doing rigorously <laughs> But it doesn't happen. The reason is in text 133. There is a word in the uh, text 133. Please tell me why it, it doesn't happen. Why? Ah, huh? Offenses. So, he, he said, what is that? Uh, Sadhya. Bolo? You tell in so many times that you will remember this word. Sadhya. Sadhyan. Loudly. Sadhyan. Sadhyan. So, Duru, Duru, Duru ha dhuta virya smin, Sraddha duresthu panchake, Yatra su alpopi sambandha, Alpopi sambandha, Sadhyam bhava janmane. The power of these five principles is very wonderful and difficult to understand. Even without faith in them, a person who is offenseless can awaken his dormant love for Krishna simply buying a little, by being a little connected with them. <coughs> little connection, it can be awakened, but the problem is, this word we have to remember it and uh, Okay, you have to remember this. Sad dhyam. Uh, everything, gadi attack jati ni. All the, our vehicle of devotional service, our, <laughs> it stops here only. Sad dhyam. We do, we practice all 64 limbs of bhakti and we do, we focus also five important limbs of bhakti. But uh, it doesn't happen so quickly as the as per the verse says but here we because of the sadhyam it, uh, we, it the uh, the love of god doesn't awaken so quickly the dormant love of krishna is simply being little connected with krishna ek pancha ek anga sadhe keho sadhe bahu anga nishtha hoile Upojaya Premera Taranga When one is formally fixed in devotional service, whether he executes one or many processes of, devo of devotional service, the waves of love of God will awaken. Prabhu? I think you can do one thing. There is not much to do. You saw the verse. Oh, here we go. This is the... Yeah, yeah so find out. So what he says, when one is simply fixed in devotional service, whether he executes one or many, many processes of devotional service, the waves of love of God will awaken. Eka ange siddhi paila bahu bhakta gana 
अम्बरेशा आदि भक्तर यही बहु अंग साधन इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड बेंगली सम डिवोटी दे गॉड परफेक्शन बाय एग्जीक्यूटिंग वन लिंब ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड अम्बरीश महाराज ही एग्जीक्यूटेड मेनी सो व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसींग दिस एवरीथिंग वी आर डिस्कसींग ऑफ वैदि साधना भक्ति देन इन टेक्स्ट 142 फोर्टी टू इट सेस विधि साधना छाड़ी भजे कृष्ण रचरण वन फोर्टी टू मधुला चैप्टर टू टेक्स्ट वन फोर्टी टू विधि धर्म छाड़ी भजे कृष्ण रचरण निषिध पापाचारे तार कभु नहे मन से विधि धर्म छाड़ी विधि धर्म छाड़ी मीन्स टू प्रैक्टिस भक्ति जनरली वी डू फॉलो वर्णाश्रम धर्म सो ही सेज ऑल्दो द प्योर डिवोटी समटाइम डजन फॉलो द ऑल द रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्णाश्रम वेरी स्ट्रिक्टली डजन फॉलो ऑल द वर्णाश्रम धर्म वेरी रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्णाश्रम धर्म बट ही वर्सिप्स लोटस फिट ऑफ कृष्ण विधि धर्म छाड़ी भजे कृष्ण चरण वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड ही वर्सिप्स कृष्ण लोटस फिट मीन्स ही डज नव नवदा भक्ति ही डज वैदि भक्ति बट ही मे नॉट फॉलो ऑल द रूल्स ऑफ वर्णाश्रम धर्म देन व्हाट अपेन्स निषिद्ध पापाचार्य तार कभु न हे मन He worships lotus. Therefore, he naturally has no tendency to commit sin. By practice, by practicing regulative principle of bhakti, vaidhi bhakti, one will not commit sin. Why? Because Prabhupada writes here, the Varnasram institution is planned in such a way that one will not commit sin sinful activities. Material existence. Continues due to sinful activity. When one acts sinfully in this life, he gets a suitable body for the next life. When one again acts sinfully, he takes to another material body. So the point here is that we sincerely practice regulative principles of devotional service. That means vaidhi sadhana bhakti. Therefore, we don't commit sin. For relative principle, we do follow. But now, what I say is very important. If one does commit, then what? Isn't it? So here it is said that vidhi dharma chadi, Prabhu, just show the words. Otherwise, that they are not, they are not able to pay attention. the so the verse yeah 142 so that they can focus on the explanation vidhi dharma chadi it is said that by practicing regulative principle of bhakti vaidhi sadhana bhakti generally one will not commit any sin or because he follows the regulative principles but If someone sincerely practices devotional service bhakti, if one does some mistake, if one does some, if one uh, breaks some principle, then what happened? What atonement is there? Mahaprabhu says, means Kabiraj Goswami explains, agyane na hoye jadi papa upasthita. Next verse. अज्ञा अज्ञाने अज्ञाने बा हय जदि पाप उपस्थित कृष्ण तारे शुद्ध करे ना कराए प्रायश्चित सो हि से अज्ञाने अज्ञाने मीन्स आउट बाय इग्नोरेंस एक्सीडेंटली 
sometime we see because of some situation or uh, provoking situation or being we accidentally we do commit some mistake devotee they do commit some mistake it happens means uh, any kind of uh, breaking of the regulative principle it happens with the devotees you all can understand knowingly or unknowingly some mistake we commit yes then for that the atonement is what agyane ba hoye jodi papa upasthit if accidentally a devotee becomes involved in sinful activities krishna tare suddha kare na karaye prayaschit krishna suddha kare krishna purifies him he doesn't have to undergo the regulative form of atonement so how krishna purifies one if some devotee commits some mistake knowingly unknowingly accidentally breaks the principle how krishna purifies that devotee 144 S- huh accidentally yeah accidentally not knowingly accidentally yes agyane so accidentally if he commits some mistake then he says sapadamulam bhajata priyasya हरिपरेशोत्पति कथंचि धुनोति सर्वं हृदय सन्निष्ट स्वपादमूल भजत प्रिय वन हु हेज गिवेन ऑफ एव्रीथिंग मैन टेकन सेल्टर ऑफ at the taken shelter at the lotus feet of sri hari like we all we all are practicing sadhakas practicing devotees we have taken shelter of lord hari and we are doing uh, sadhana bhakti he is very dear to krishna if he is involved in some sinful activity by accident Uh, this word is very important by accident not planned or knowingly the supreme personality of god head which is who is seated within everyone's heart removes his sins without difficulty that means the same process the process of practicing sadhana bhakti it itself itself purifies the sadhaka the uh, uh, with in a very remorse mood very guilt, guilty feeling if he practice bhakti then it, the power of sadhana bhakti is that it purifies the heart <coughs> long back we, i used to hear from radhesham prabhu he always tells this principle r r r r first uh, he says that realize isn't it realize then he says realize them first is realize and then uh, repent and then uh, uh, rectify and reinstate right is to hear those days first a person has to realize some mistake has been done Uh, there itself the uh, uh, atonement starts has to realize the mistake if anything happens then repent it's in mental platform regret repent rectify it's action platform <laughs> first mental then action 
Rectify means now person is going to do some action, means uh, not to do the, not to commit the mistake again. Any, any kind of mistake. And reinstate, he firmly fixed in his swarupa, in his position, in his uh, uh, service, that uh, he will not commit mistake again. He does, he does some, some extra uh, activities or some precautions, he will not do the mistake again. Do you understand? Any doubt? Please raise your hand. Do you understand this exam? First is realize, then regret or repent in the mind, and then rectify, you take some uh, devotees, uh, they chant some extra round, because the mistake has been done, or they do some Giriraj Parikrama, Bandavan Parikrama. I have seen devotees in Bandavan, Giriraj Parikrama, or do the Dandavati Parikrama. See, one personal experience I will tell you, if we become weak in spiritual life, if we become weak in spiritual life, or if, if we become weak in practicing sadhana, the one plus point is, who are staying in Dham, I have seen, even personal experience, is that if we do Parikrama, Giriraj Parikrama or Vrindavan Parikrama, we regain the strength. Sometime, if we commit some mistake, some Vaishnava Parat or some, some sinful act, some uh, something, if we, it, it happens, but, what to do? Because we are practicing sadhana bhakti, we cannot do any other type of attachment. So devotee, they do some special tapasya by doing Giriraj Parikrama or Bundavan Parikrama or engage yourself in some Brajamandal Parikrama. This uh, dham has so power. Once we do Giriraj Parikrama or Bundavan Parikrama, we, we regain our strength and we start, uh, it, it means uh, we, we reinstate ourselves. Again we start practicing spiritual life as usual we used to do before. This is the power of uh, doing some austerity, some tapasya in dham. Many, many senior devotees in our movement, mistake has been happened. There was one uh, very senior pujari in Mayapur Dham. And something happened to his spiritual life. Some uh, problem hap happened in his spiritual life. And then he came, he changed his cloth actually. He was a Sapran devotee. He changed his cloth. The, 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 management has, the management told him to change the cloth and he, he humbly accepted that. And remember, he came and did Brajamandal Parikrama along with all of us. I was also doing fortunately that time when Brajamandal Parikrama was in 25th of celebration, Silver Jubilee celebration in 2011. And that Prabhu, that devotee, he did Brajamandal Parikrama. And after some period of time, after six months, the management again told him to regain your cloth, uh, retake. So he took again suffer. Why? The point here is that when you do Navadi Parikrama or Brajamandal Parikrama or Giriraj Parikrama or Bandavan Parikrama, it gives you, the, 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 the place has some very well, potency. The place, the dham gives you the strength. You, you regain the strength to practice uh, spirituality again with full place, with same uh, enthusiasm, so with same utsha. So, the, the, the practice itself, the sadhana bhakti practice, doing some extra tapasya, we uh, regain our strength. Only thing is that we have to take care of it should not happen seventh offense. That means uh, 
in uh, what is there in Padma Purana? Let me remember. Namno balat hi paap paapa yasya buddhi. We do commit some sin and we think that, okay, so I'll do one Giriraj Parikrama or uh, I'll do Vrindavan Parikrama, I'll chant some extra round. Definitely it will uh, has his effect. It will have its effect. But if we do intentionally again and again and thinking that one Giriraj Parikrama will nullify my sin and then after month or two or six months again we will do the same. Then it becomes uh, aparad, seventh offense. Namno balad yasya papa buddhi. Right? But while practicing devotional service, we take all precautions, even while taking precautions, if something happens accidentally and uh, we are very much uh, remorse, we are very much sorry for that, then it's uh, good to do some parikrama, do some chant, some extra round, some extra tapasya, like that. So, sadhana bhakti has the power to purify the sadhaka. So, these are all by the sadhana bhakti. Now, our topic is now it starts. Five minutes more. <laughs> it's over actual time. So our <laughs> it was <laughs> text to one forty nine, Prabhu. One forty eight. He says, our uh, now will. Uh, go move ahead from Vaidhi Bhakti to Raga. We will try to discuss what is Raga Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti Sadhanera Kailu Vibharana Vaidhi Bhakti Sadhanera Kailu Vibharana Raga Nuga Bhakti Ra Lakshana Sunasanatana So far I have explained the Vaidhi Bhakti Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti now, you try to listen, what is Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti? You remember this morning we, dis we discussed that only by practicing Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti we can attain the pure love of God. We can attain the Krishna Loka, Goloka Vrindavan. Uh, so, before Raganuga, we have to understand what is called Raga and what is called Ragatmika, then we will understand Raga Nuga. Ragatmika Bhakti Mukhya Brajavasi Jane Tara Anungata Bhakti Raga Nuga Name Ragatmika Bhakti Mukhya Brajavasi Jane The original inhabitants of Vrindavan are at attached to Krishna spontaneously in devotional service. Nothing can compare to such spontaneous devotional service, which is called Ragatmika Bhakti. When a devotee follows in the footsteps of the de footsteps of the devotees of Vrindavan, his service, devotional service is called Raganuga Bhakti. So we will discuss it. First we have to understand what is called Raga and then Ragatmika. So we, we should understand that Mahaprabhu is explaining this. The inhabitants of Vrindavan, the transcendental associates of Vrindavan, Brajavasi, Brajavasi, what they have, the spontaneous attraction towards Krishna, that is called Ragatmika. Please don't get confused. Therefore, I said, I was discussing with Prabhuji this morning that there is some correction is required in the NOD book. It's in chapter 18, chapter 16, 
Ragatmika definition is there in NOD book. Actually, it's a little bit a mistake is there. Raganuga and Ragatmika is explained in one way only. Again, I am repeating. The inhabitants of Vrindavan, which are attached to Krishna spontaneously, their devotion towards Krishna is called Ragatmika. No you, me, any tatastha, sakti, jiva, ordinary living entity can have this. It, it, it is not attainable. This is exclusive for the eternal associates of the Lord in Vrindavan. Then what is Raga? He says, next, Iste Swarasiki Ragaha Parama Vistata Bhavet Tanmai Ya Bhavet Bhakti Satra Ragat Miko Dita. So, what is Raga? Iste. In general uh, uh, understanding, the meaning is Iste. Iste means uh, onto the desired object. For me, for anyone, Iste may be this one. <laughs> Anything can be Iste. The gadgets, or bolo. <laughs> the food, Iste. Iste means one who was the desired object of life. We are now understanding the meaning of the word Raga. Iste. Iste means with iPhone 15 Pro Plus. <laughs> Iste. Or iPad. Or for a boy, young boy, a young girl, for a young girl, a young boy, Iste. For husband, wife, and for wife and husband. Or for a parents, for children, for children, the parents, Iste. Or uh, uh, some job or some career or some position, whatever, whatever may happen, I will not, I will never give up the stay that is my kursi, my chair, means my position. That, that might be stay. So, stay is uh, uh, different for the different person. Okay? All of you are getting? We are, we are, uh, in general, we are discussing, we are uh, discussing the word Raga. Pele Raga kya hai samajhte hai, uske baad Raga atmika. For any object, or any person, we have intense attachments. That's called Raga. Jiske vina raha nahi jata hai. The <laughs> Early morning we get up, first, <laughs> This, our, our eyesight, <laughs> first darshan, <laughs> it goes, <laughs> we take up that, we think of someone where our mind goes, our attachment, we think of wherever we may be, with some person, with some object, so that is called iste, swa rasiki, swa rasiki, apne rasike anusar, appropriate for one's ors, one's own original aptitude of love. Swarasiki. So this Swarasiki is different from me, you, he, she, everyone. Your rasa is different. His rasa is different. His rasa is different. <laughs> everyone's rasa. Everyone's rasa is different. Isn't it? Someone may like Dai Vendi. <laughs> That's his rasa is different. Someone is very fond of Welcome. His rasa is different. Someone, they, would, they don't know. For them, this cricket is not existing only. Somehow they are not, atting, they are not attracted. They are attracted to Ram Mandir. <laughs> Maybe some issue. So, swa rasa ki, apne apne rasa ke anusar. According to one's own rasa, one is spontaneously attracted to either object, or uh, person. 
that is called rasa but then he says param avishtata absorbs in, in that attachment that intense raga intense attachment instead of any material object or person or post position when it doubted to supreme lord parama abhishtata absorbs in the service of the lord bhavet uh, then tanmay consisting of that transcendental attachment that bhakti is called ragatmika bhakti spontaneous devotional service that we in bengali kaviraj goswami says 151 इष्टे गाढ़ तृष्णा रागेर स्वरूप लक्षण इष्टे आविष्टता यही तटस्थ लक्षण <coughs> गाढ़ तृष्णा व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ तृष्णा हैंकरिंग यर प्रोपाद राइट्स अटैचमेंट गाढ़ तृष्णा मीन्स डीप अटैचमेंट ओके गाड तृष्णा मीन्स डीप अटैचमेंट अच्छा नेक्स्ट वर्स तृष्णा मीन्स हैंकरिंग एंड गाड तृष्णा मीन्स डीप अटैचमेंट डीप अटैचमेंट टू सम वन स्वयं प्रकाश फॉर एनी एग्जाम्पल डीप अटैचमेंट गाढ़ तृष्णा वी आर एक्सप्लेन नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वर्ड राग एनी एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट स्लीपिंग या Someone is too attached to sleep. He likes sleeping. Yavati nam yatha yunam. In that verse also, God Krishna, just like a young boy is, has deep attachments towards a young girl. A man is attached to woman. Someone is attached to nation. Someone is attached to election. <laughs> Someone is attached to position. Someone is attached to hand, some gadgets. डीप अटैचमेंट दैट मीन्स जिस जिसके बिना रहा नहीं जाए जीना तो क्या जीना उसके बाद यू जाने तेरे बिना मोबाइल बिना और दिस बिना और दैट बिना ही बिना सी बिना दैट बिना दिस एवरीथिंग दैट्स कॉल्ड स्टे गाढ़ तृष्णा सो दैट डीप अटैचमेंट डीप अटैचमेंट मीन्स मीन्स moment by moment you remember you just cannot forget when will i see you when will i get when will i meet when will i talk such uh, god krishna when i every every moment we remember that is called swarupa lakshana for anything and anyone any object but that we if we discuss in devotional scenario towards the lord इष्टे गाढ़ तृष्णा रागेर स्वरूप लक्षण इष्टे आविष्टता नाओ आविष्टता मीन्स वॉट एब्जॉर्सन सी समाइम नो आई एम सॉरी टू से इंग्लिश वर्ड्स आर नॉट एक्जैक्ट ट्रांसलेसन ऑफ द संस्कृत नाउ लेट मी हिंदी इज वेरी क्लोज टू संस्कृत लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज कॉल्ड आविष्ट सी You know this word pravesa. Another word is called avesa. Okay. So vesa means vesa means not decoration. That is also vesa. Vesa means enter. Pravesa means prakrusta rupa no vesa. Pravesa deeply entered. Okay. In the same way, now we discuss the word avesa. Ves vesa means entered. and avesa means very deeply entered <coughs> so that's called avishtata means jaise kehte hai na avesh ho gaya sometime some say some some bhoot preet ka avesh ho jata <laughs> like that if someone is doing some, some enacting some past time that uh, lord ram avesh nursing avesh to that person it happen sometime while doing some drama or acting that's called abhishta so gaad trishna see we are now going towards raganuga bhakti therefore we have to be pay very high attention because our goal is to go 
కృష్ణ లోక గోలోక బృందావన్ నా ఇట్స్ ద స్టార్టింగ్ ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ వీఆర్ వీఆర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ రాగ దెన్ రాగాత్మిక అండ్ దెన్ విల్ సీ రాగానుగా అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇస్ డిఫరెంట్ విల్ సీన్ టుమారో ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇట్ సో వెన్ వీ డీప్లీ అబ్జార్వ్ డీప్ అటాచ్మెంట్ టువర్డ్స్ ఫర్ ఇన్ అవర్ కేస్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి టువర్డ్స్ కృష్ణ రైట్ కృష్ణ అండ్ ఈస్ డివోటీస్ అండ్ ధామ్ కృష్ణ అండ్ తదియ ఓకే సో అవర్ డీప్ అటాచ్మెంట్ షుడ్ బి టువర్డ్స్ కృష్ణ అండ్ తదియ తదియ అండర్స్టాండ్ నా కృష్ణ పరఫన్ లే కృష్ణ డివోటీ కృష్ణ ధామ్ కృష్ణ నామ కృష్ణ లీలా కృష్ణ బుక్ ఆల్ కృష్ణ సర్వీస్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సో దట్ ఈస్ డీప్ అటాచ్మెంట్ టువర్డ్స్ దాట్ that is the swarupa lakshana matlab primary characteristics and deep absorption abhishtata means itna dhas gaye in hindi it called dhas jana matlab andar pravesh kar jana something which is enter deeply inside the heart so that is called abhishtata is te abhishtata ei tatastha lakshana so i'll give you one example what is how it, how you can understand this, and then we'll conclude there is one devotee in govardhan pushti marg vallabha sampradaya devotee his name was chaturbhuj das even now if you come sometime to govardhan where our iskon bhagavat mahavidyalaya is there behind that bhagavat mahavidyalaya just 1 km 2 km you go there is a place called known as chandra sarovar so the chandra sarovar is the place where radha krishna performed rasa dance on kartik purnima sarat purnima they did in vansivat uh, krishna played the flute the gopis came and then the kartik month starts yes and then the kartik purnima krishna again perform rasa dance in chandra sarovar very beautiful and scenic place looks very beautiful the sarovar the pond is pond or sarovar lake ha huh, is formed like a moon eight uh, uh, we call it rectangular hexagon octa what you call oct- octagon <laughs> octagon type of that so like moon has moon shaped so there the eight uh, prominent devotees uh, disciples of uh, gosai ji gosai ji means uh, balavacharya and his son vithalnath ji balavacharya is the father what we read in chaitanya charitamrit balava bhata meeting chaitanya mahaprabhu balava bhata meeting rupa goswami you remember so that is the father and he had two son and one the elder son was vithalnath and vithalnath popularly became balavacharya wherever in vandavan or govardhan area you see mahaprabhu ki baithak you have seen this written mahaprabhu ki baithak that is actually balavacharya the the bithalnath so the father balavacharya he had four prominent disciple and the son bithalnath who became known as balavacharya he had four, another four prominent disciple so one of them is chaturbhuj das now this chaturbhuj das was uh, in govardhan so please try to understand we are explaining we are discussing the word iste gaad trishna means deep attachment and deep absorption how it happens to a devotee just see hari hari, hari, hari. please listen so his uh, guru means bithalnath gosai ji once he came to chaturbhuj das he said my dear uh, devotee my dear prabhu let us go to dwarika okay why because the people uh, the devotees of dwarka have been invited and uh, let us go we have since many many days and years we have not gone to dwarka to visit let us go but chaturbhuj das was so absorbed in srinath ji 
what you see sinaji now in nadwara udaipur previously it was in the top of the govardhan hill there is another story that this deity was originally attained by madhavendra puri and later it transformed to pushti mark now they are claiming that their deity actually sinaji's origin is in gaudiya sampradaya that is by madhavendra puri gopal gopal did you remember and later some thing happened and uh, eventually raghunath das goswami entrusted that service to bithalnath ji because they are contemporary and since then it became very famous sinath vigraha and uh, uh, it eventually went to nadwara so that time it was in govardhan so this devotee chaturbhuj das he said guru maharaj is asking me to come so i should go uh, if i don't go then it should it will be disobeying the spiritual master but he did not he did not want to leave govardhan dham he was so attached to govardhan and govard uh, sinaji so to follow the order of the spiritual master bithalnath somehow he went but just at the pari pari just as just at the boundary the seema the threshold of govardhan after the govardhan area it ends at that moment while he was going with his spiritual master guru maharaj chaturbhuj das fainted and fell down on that place because his heart was there in sinaji his heart was in govardhan by force he was going to uh, visit dwarka dwarka this with his spiritual master when he just touched this boundary of govardhan dham he he could not control himself and he fainted he fell down there and bithal naji look behind he saw that hey what happened to this devotee and he just fainted and somehow he woke up and he said my dear guru maharaj please forgive me i cannot go beyond this i cannot go beyond this if i go i can i cannot sustain myself my life here will go away. and vithalnath became uh, very surprised to see my god i am his guru and is my disciple he has so deep attachment towards govardhan he has so deep attachment towards srinathji that as soon as he crossed the boundary he even could not and he fainted and he, uh, at that moment chaturbhuj das he wrote a poem in braj bhasha so one line i'll tell you what he says in his poem <coughs> दर्शन को नैना तपे वचन सुनन को का मिलवे को हिरा तपे हिय की जीवन प्राण गोवर धन वासी सावरे गोवर धन वासी सावरे तुम बिन रहो ना जाय रे गोवर धन वासी saavre he says darshan ko naina tape my eyes are waiting to behold the beauty of sinaji darshan ko naina tape vachan sunan ko kaan just to hear the sweet flute sound of sinaji my ears are eagerly waiting darshan ko naina tape vachan sunan ko kaan मिलवे को हियरा तपे माय हार्ट माय हार्ट माय हार्ट इज एंक्शियसली वेटिंग टू मीट सिन्हा जी 
हियर की जीवन प्राण बिकॉज ही इज द लाइफ एंड सोल ऑफ माई हार्ट हु गोवर्धन वासी सांवरे तुम बिन रहियो न जाए ओ सिन्हा जी ओ गोवर्धन वासी सांवरे विदाउट यू आई जस्ट कैनॉट लिव दिस इज कॉल्ड राग स्टे गाढ़ तृष्णा डीप अटैचमेंट एंड डीप एब्जॉर्बन सो वेन वी हियर सच पास टाइम्स वेन वी हियर सच नैरेशंस आवर कॉन्शियसनेस गेट्स डेव इवॉल्व एंड वी ऑल्सो डेवलप ए टिंज ऑफ डिजायर हाउ इट एवकेंस द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन वील सी टूमारो हाउ रागानुगा भक्ति ए डिवोटी प्रैक्टिस एंड हाउ इट डेवलप्स हाउ इट एवकेंस वट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट वील सी टूमारो बट एटलीस्ट टूडे वी कैन मेकअप आवर माइंड द बेस इज लाइक दिस फ्रॉम दिस एग्जाम्पल दैट बाई विदाउट सींग विदाउट हियरिंग विदाउट टेस्टिंग समान जस्ट कैन नॉट लिव एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड राग हरे कृष्णा सो इट टूडे वी हर्ड राग एंड रागात्मिका रागात्मिका इज इट 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 इज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर द ब्रजवासीज एंड वी द लिविंग एंटिटीज वी द तटस्थ जीव शक्ति वी कैन जस्ट फॉलो इन द फुटस्टेप्स ऑफ दोज ब्रजवासीज देन विल बी कॉल्ड एज रागानुगा हरि हरि शील प्रभुपाद की शील रूप गोस्वामी पाद की हिता एक और प्रेमानंद सो टुमारो मॉर्निंग विल मीट question okay hare krishna devotees who have question can ask and other devotees can in the prasadam or prasadam is being served there for the other devotees so i think sadana bhakti will lead to raganuga bhakti or uh, yes so will vaidhi sadana bhakti graduate want to raganuga sadhana bhakti or will vaidhi sadhana bhakti graduate want directly to bhava bhakti also very good question so today we'll discuss or tomorrow we'll do today we want to listen or tomorrow we'll start with answer tomorrow small answer now <laughs> it's a very wonderful question we'll start with this uh, discussion very Uh, uh, brilliant question and we have to oh you all have to understand the how it develops from vaidhi to raganuga or whether one can uh, achieve the destination just by practicing vaidhi sadhana bhakti and where what is the destination and uh, what is the junction from vaidhi to raganuga we'll uh, discuss bro it it will take some time Yeah. Okay. Detail. Then in that only, then so I'll tell you now, so so we can discuss more. So, if Raganuga Bhakti is the spontaneous attraction defined by our Acharyas for following the Ragatmika Bhaktas, uh, what about the spontaneous devotion of de- devotees and personalities, Prahlada, Hanuman? What is the technical term given for them, and what is their spontaneous devotion called? in bhava bhakti and prema bhakti because they did not come through raganuga bhakti probably they came from what process like that to that stage of bhava bhakti prema yeah. bhakti so it will everything will be addressed tomorrow addressed uh, in that uh, related to the same question by the sadhana bhakti these transcendental associates and then uh, raganuga sadhana bhakti will uh, definitely address tomorrow okay. i got your question okay all of you please come and please try to understand the deep science of bhakti then only we can uh, have some uh, attraction or love or greed or covetous towards the goal hari hari sila prabhu pad ki 
bro one more just in case yes <laughs> yeah you can think about so we learned today that we do sinful activities by accident we are uh, protected but most of us in a profession are doing sinful activities knowingly <laughs> what yeah. is the pari yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's actually our sadhana bhakti we do therefore uh, with uh, with anartha and with aparadhas we we all agree we do some aparadha and uh, uh, at the same time we we never leave the practice we do we continue practicing bhakti and uh, so therefore uh, it happens sometimes as you said that it happens sometimes seventh offense also happened first offense also happened yes yeah, <laughs> but still we are practicing bhakti therefore i said that we will we'll never leave the process the process itself will purify us and when we again hear again and again hear then we will take precautions we will we will not do the aparadhas sadhyan right you right you remember sad dhyam so that is the key point hare krishna